What is going on guys? It's Apollo One and today we have a very special class set up for you guys. This is just a phenomenal class setup. You would want to use this if you haven't tried this already. Be ready to be mind blown because this gun is ridiculous. It is literally a, a laser that, that the Call of Duty Ghost Gods had sent down by aliens and given to us because this gun is just so good. It, it literally just kills so fast and it's a laser. So yeah, be ready to see this gun. You can, right now you're probably watching a little background gameplay of myself using it. Um, some in-game experience with it because it just, it just tears people up. It tears the enemy up. And like I said, if you haven't tried it already, please, please, please trust me on this. Go out, make your class setup, make a little special, special class setup, call it Carnage Clan and just make this class setup and I guarantee you'll do decent with it. It's definitely a good gun. Um, now the people that, that this, this gun's gonna, uh, play with, like, play well with the play style, um, honestly, it fits all of them. It, it plays the more slow paced style and it also, you can rush with this gun, believe it or not. And I'm just gonna say it's an LMG. You can rush with this gun. It is, uh, with this class setup becomes extremely, extremely mobile, like almost like an assault rifle or SMG almost. Um, so, yeah, let, hell, let's just get right into it. This gun is the Chainsaw, guys. Yes, an LMG, the Chainsaw LMG. No, this is not a Chainsaw. Too bad, that would be really cool if it was like a melee weapon. And you could just be going around like... And just like, just destroy people. It would be awesome, like, blood goes everywhere. But that would be too violent, guys. That would be too violent. So, anyways, this is an LMG, and you can see it right there. It's quite nice. It's big. It's awesome. It looks cool. And, um... Yeah, I just want to say one thing, you did see in the gameplay uh, before, that it doesn't have a rectangle. You cannot aim in. When you aim in, it just makes your screen like a little more focused and a little tiny more bit more zoomed in. Uh, but it does have a red dot sight that comes off the, like the front of it. So it helps you aim. And honestly, you can pick people off across the map. If, if you didn't see the chainsaw um, chem strike that went up day one on the Carnage Clan, you can see that Carnage Danny literally picks guys off across the map on Whiteout, which is like one of the biggest maps, biggest lines of sight in the game. Um, and he just picks guys out, just like like it's nothing, like he's using a sniper, and he just kills these guys. And the damage is is really good at those distances. So, yes, the stats don't look that great. I mean, it's true. The accuracy kind of looks low. The damage looks low. The range looks low. The mobility is decent. The fire rate, especially with uh, the rapid-fire attachment that we have on there. Um... It's pretty high, but yeah, the accuracy looks low, the damage looks like garbage, and then the range looks pretty bad. But it's not true. We all know that sometimes Call of Duty go or Call of Duty stats lie to us, and this is the case. Um, it it's just doesn't do. It's not that bad. It's really not. The damage is should be like full rank. It just kills fast, and the accuracy is ridiculously good in my opinion. Now, if you don't aim in at longer distances, you're not going to be able to pick off. But if you just aim in a little bit, you'll be able to pick off those guys from longer distances. So that's not too much of a big deal. Uh, and the range isn't too bad. But um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll figure something out. So what I have on it is the silencer. And I use the silencer almost all my class setups. Just, just feel it, like it's necessary. I want to stay off the radar. I don't want to be seen. Uh, if you want to be a little more ballsy and you don't want to use that, you want to kill people just a little bit faster, go ahead and slap that long range on because that is, look at the range, look at the range, it's true, it does go up a huge amount, it does, and actually, uh, I've tried this myself and it is very good. So it's really on how you want to play. If you want to play a little more uh, passively, you don't want to be seen on your radar, you're going for those chem strikes, then you want to use the silencer. But if you're just doing, if you want to do destruction and create some carnage on the map, um, then definitely throw the muzzle brake on because the range goes up, the damage goes up, and it does. It does act, now that I look at it, it makes the stats a lot better. But then you lose the capability of the silencer, so it, it kind of uh, affects you there. So then I have rapid fire on there and I just like rapid fire because it makes it makes that that damage a little bit more it's not really the damage but it, it kills them a little bit faster and with being able to shoot those bullets a little bit faster yeah it kills them like I said faster because you're shooting more at them um so if you're not too if you don't want to worry if you don't worry about that too much uh you can always throw extended mags on because you start with 80 80 rounds and if you put extended on I believe it goes to 120 because it's 50 percent more uh, so you'll have 120 bullets instead of 100, or instead of 80, which, yeah, makes it a lot better. 
um, and it, it really just preference. But I would highly recommend this setup, my favorite setup. Uh, but you could always try this setup. I haven't used it, but I could always try that. That would be really good. That would be like a badass, just like I'm trying to get 100 kills point blank. That's what I'm trying to do. Or am I trying to go for those chem strikes, trying to go for those double chem strikes? Then I want to use this or maybe even that. So it's really up to you guys uh, on how you want to do this. Uh, but right there is that's my favorite setup. So anyways, guys, to make this gun an SMG, this is what you want to do with your perks. Take off your secondary, take off your lethal, take off your tactical. You don't really need them. They're not that necessary. At least when I play, I don't find myself using them in too many situations. I'd rather have an extra perk because... Uh, it just makes the gun better, just the primary, you want to stick to that primary because secondaries aren't that great. Uh, you always want to stick to your primary and being able to put on an extra perk is, it's worth it. So what I have on it is ready up. Weapon is ready after sprinting. Now, honestly, you don't really need this. Yeah, it's an LMG. You don't really need to aim in. Uh, but I do find it necessary sometimes when I do aim in, um, and it can help. And there's really nothing else in the one perk section that I really want. Uh, so I just decided to, you know, use that. So sleight of hand is a must. You want to be able to run, or right here, actually, let's just look at both of these at the same time. On the go and sleight of hand, you want on this class of it. That's what makes this gun an LMG. You can literally run and reload this gun, and it feels like you just reload. It literally takes, I think, like four seconds to reload it, or five seconds. Very, very fast. Um, and it, it just takes away that sluggish LMG feel. It's very effective, very good. Definitely want to try this. And then the final perk to make it this feel like an LMG class is agility. And that kind of takes off the last little bit of sluggishness that you have when using LMGs and using the chainsaw. It kind of eliminates that. It increases the movement speed. And uh, it just makes it feel really good. I guarantee you'll just be able to play better, more effectively when using this. And then I have scavenger on because you only have um, two round or two clips of 80 rounds. And that just, it goes by really fast because this gun, especially with rapid fire on there, it goes by really fast. I want to have scavenger. I want to have those bullets, especially when going for chem strikes. And that's what the silencer and rapid fire is there for. So you want to have that scavenger on as well. And my last perk, like I said, with that with the silencer, I want to stay off the radar so I have off the grid. I mean, you could always take this off. You could substitute it for maybe Marathon, uh, maybe Stalker, but that's why I have it in the Specialist. I don't really need it. And uh, it's really up to you. You could always throw on Amplify if you like that. It's, it's up to you, but I personally like using off the grid. And then in my Strike Package, I'm using Specialist, of course. And um, on my first three perks, I like to use Amplify. I like to know where my enemies are coming from around me. It helps me a lot. Just play more effectively, especially when going for those chem strikes. This is a chem strike class setup. And uh, then Stalker. I find Stalker very, very, very effective on this gun, guys. You want to try this. Actually, oops. Nope. Actually, I'm, I'm going to try this. Nope. 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 This is what I want right here. Right... Yeah, that's what I want. I want to have Stalker first because Stalker is just so good on this gun. It, it just, like, you can kind of strafe right, left. With this gun is unbelievable. You want to have that. So put that on as your first um, specialist uh, perk. And then my second is Amplify, which, uh, like I said, allows you know where the enemies are. Um, and Dead Silence, I don't like to know where people are hearing me from. I could always take this off and um, I could always put, like... Uh, actually no. That's why I used it. There's nothing else really, you know, focus isn't that great on LMGs. So I'm gonna stay with Dead Silence. Then I have Marathon because the maps are huge. I want to be able to run forever. And, uh, like the Flash. And then I also want to have Take No Falling Damage. Um, you can always put on Takedown so you can go behind enemy locations and stuff. And then Quick Draw is pretty good when you do aim in at those longer ranges. And sometimes it, with this gun, you do want to aim in. It is good, so Quick Draw is always good. Um, and then Spe- or the Hardline's good for those chem strikes to get those assist kind of kills and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, it's been Apollo 1. Hopefully this class setup does help you. I highly, highly recommend it. It is such a good and powerful gun that you probably just ignored it because, you know, LMGs, oh, what are they? You know, they're garbage guns. No, please go try this. This gun is awesome. Um, and look forward to more class setup, guys. We are trying to bring you guys these, these videos to help you uh, feel more comfortable playing Call of Duty Ghosts and just help you with any little thing that you might be uh, struggling with. That's our goal. So anyways, guys, it's been Apollo 1, and um, if you could drop a like on this video, it'd really, 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 really mean a lot to us. Uh, it's all it does means a lot to us. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace.